Hey guys, welcome to this channel, the place where we talk about um, career opportunities, where to find them and how to apply for them. Make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Also comment, like and share this video to those who might uh, benefit from this opportunity. Today we're talking about the APSA Fellowship Program, which is a program aimed at developing and equipping fellow recipients with critical competency skill set for future leaders who will make an impact both in business, in their communities, our country and the Afri African continent in general. This program will ensure upon completion of the scholarship not only will you have an academic degree but you also have a network of peers you would have built an understanding and authentic um, self you would develop a deep sense of community and you would have a deep sense of your own creativity as well as the capacity to effect change and um, change around um, your community you will also have a better understanding of the african contest and the possibilities that are in Africa, within Africa. Successful candidates will have an opportunity to gain full-time employment at APSA upon completion of the degree. This uh, program is going to cover the academic and leadership program cost, which includes full tuition, meals, university and university approved um, accommodation, laptop, books, educational equipment, means allowance, and uh, monthly stipend. You also get a 5 GB uh, data, as well as student medical aid cover where required. So the monthly stipend will be paid into an APSA account by Student Village on behalf of APSA. They will also make payment to a supplier, a bookstore for textbook, and then you will be given a voucher for a laptop, and then they also the voucher for um, data. If you need um, study equipment, then you get a quote and you give it to a supplier and then they will pay. The university fees and meals and accommodation, they pay directly to the university. And then if maybe you live in a private uh, accommodation, the landlord has to uh, write a uh, submission directly to APSA and then they will pay. And then they will also in, um, pay for a one return air ticket annually and they will also pay for your student visa application cost. Apart from funding, they will also offer additional support to students like academic tutoring, wellness peer-to-peer -peer mentoring, APSA and industry mentoring. So with academic tutoring, they will give you exam preparation. They will uh, help you memorize information. This is done through workshops. And then for wellness, they work on your improving your life skills, coping strategies, and your problem solving skills. And then when it comes to when it comes to mentoring, they will introduce you and pair you with an APSA mentor who is an industry expert, and that will give you insight and engage you in the world of of work and the sector that you're going to be in once you graduate. This will help uh, build capabilities, individual listening skills, contextual understanding, collaboration and problem solving skills. So you must be a citizen on one of the following countries, which is South Africa, Mozambique, Zambia, Botswana, Tanzania, Kenya, Mauritius, Seychelles, Uganda, and Ghana. You must be a leader. You must be a catalyst for change. So you must want to bring change within your community, your country, or you must be studying towards an undergraduate degree, either in sciences, technology, engineering, creative arts, mathematics, humanities, um, digital data design. And you must be studying in one of the following pre-selected universities in South Africa, which is UCT, UJ, um, University of Pretoria, University of KwaZulu-Natal, University of Stellenbosch, 
you must be brave ethical and you must uh, be between the ages of 18 to 25 and and you must have passed your metric or equivalent maybe you're doing your a levels or you're doing anything that's um, equivalent to metric it must be more than 65 percent so the additional information that is required is like um the pay slip when they talk of confirmation of combined household income they're talking about pay slip and um, this is a salary slip and affidavit maybe if your parents are not working then they write an affidavit to say that they are unemployed and they also uh, present a sasa uh, grant document to show that they're getting sasa and um if maybe your parents are have died then they you need to um supply them with a birth certificate and remember these documents must all be certified within the three months um, limit. And if you have a disability, then you have to provide supporting documents, medical proof and certificate to show that you indeed have a disability. You are also going to do psychometric testing. So when it comes to social media screening, APSA values um, their brand and their clients and they don't want to be associated with someone who will tarnish their brand. As part of the application process, they will perform um, screening and background checks, such as screening uh, your social media. So they're going to Google you and check your social media, how you behave on social media, what kind of post do you post, what kind of person are you. So let me take you through the page. I'm going to include the link on the description box. So when you click on the link, it's going to take you to this page. And then you will click on register then it will take you to the com terms and conditions page then you just accept you accept and then you enter your age um, it's going to ask if you're between the ages of 18 and 25 then you say yes are you a citizen from any of the following countries then you choose the one that um, you are a citizen in Please select um, the field of study, then you select. If you're doing something in the sciences, then you will select sciences, mathematics, engineering, the arts, digital, data, or design, technologies, humanities. So I will choose humanities. And then if maybe you've already been accepted at the institution, then you will click here. And you will say yes you will also choose the university that you maybe you are a second year student at a university let's say maybe you're a second year student at the university of cape town then you will click there or maybe you got acceptance at a particular institution that is that on the list then you will submit it says here that you have to complete the application and it will tell you about the documents that you need to upload so all these documents must be certified and the proof of 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 income remember we spoke about all these documents that they need and then you click there and once you are in then you put on your details your name you confirm that you are not a robot then you you will register this is the list of all the qualifications that this fellowship is going to cover. You can see in the social sciences, they cover your performing arts, social work, political science. And in the arts, they cover things such as um, film and television. And then in the design section, they cover graphic design. So you can just choose um, whatever qualification that you feel talks to you in this list. So if it's not on this list, then it means that they do not cover for it. So you must check a qualification that is on the list. So you need to create an application checklist, a list that is going to show you all the documents that you need to upload and all the documents that are required. So you can see that these are the documents that they need if you are a matriculant. And if you are a current tertiary student, they will need these documents like your ID. And remember, all these documents have to be certified three months must be certified so please go and certify those documents make sure that you tick every document on this um, checklist so that you don't miss anything 
please share this video with anyone who you think can apply and don't forget to hit that like button so that this video can reach more people and they will know about the opportunity. That's it for this week. Until we meet again, it's bye from me.